Hello Zany friends, I'm Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today we're going to talk about The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. If you remember, Marshall and I did a little joint review last month of Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I did a review of Final Girls a little while ago and so we decided we need to read the next book that he wrote because Home Before Dark is coming out in June. So. We both listened to this on audiobook, and the summary of this book is about a girl who went to a camp, like a sleepaway summer camp, and she wakes up to find that the, her three cabin mates are gone, and it traumatizes her so much that for the next 15 years of her life, she paints their picture over and over and over again until the owner of the camp asked her to come back to teach painting for one summer and she has to deal with the ghosts mm -hmm. <laughs> of what happened in her past um, to see that, if she can recover from the trauma. That's a very putting it. Yes, the ghosts <laughs> of what happened in the past. And that is, that is the premise of, of, of the book, yes. Yes. Now, what I liked about this book a lot is that First off, I'm not one that typically really enjoys a narrator who is unreliable in their perceptions. Yes, this character does have some unreliable perceptions of reality. This book used that in a very good way, I feel. In a way that actually had an arc to it, and I liked that. What I had an issue with in this book is I spent most of it being like, didn't this book already come out? I keep on remember hearing Lainey tell me about this book. <laughs> a book that kind of has this same what is that it's, it's final kinda, girls it's fine. so yes there is a comparison to final girls because in final girls the girl had a traumatic thing happen to her in a cabin and then she ends up going back to the cabin i think and having it happen to her again so there still is that cabin outdoors camping trauma. thing trauma but not the same yeah, I, it's yeah. not the same this ends up Especially from what I've heard, I didn't actually read Final Girls, but this has a very different kind of ending, mm -hmm. and an ending that was so satisfying. It was me. really satisfying. I would say that I don't think this is my favorite book. I think Lock Every Door is my mm -hmm. favorite book, which makes sense because it was the last one that he wrote, so I can see that the books are getting better as, they, as he goes. But there was just a lot of elements of this book that I was like... What, when did, how is that going to be connected later? And then it does and you're like, and I was not expecting that, yeah. <laughs> you know? I did, I did figure out part of the ending, not all of it, because yeah. this is a kind of a complex ending, I would say, yeah. but I did figure out part of the ending before it happened and, and I was right and I was like, yes, I still got it. Riley Sager yeah. has a great way of building mysteries that trigger your instincts mm -hmm. as to what is going on without letting your conscious mind actually wrap around it. And by doing so, it makes it so that you're constantly being led in other directions going, oh, it, what if it's this? What if it's this? Mm. When in your insides, you're like, it's this. And then it's that. And you're like, I knew it, but I didn't know it. This is amazing. So I gave it four stars anyway, because even though it wasn't my favorite of, of the ones that he has written, I still really, really enjoyed it. What about you? I'm, I'm between four and five on this one. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to give it a four just because we can't do 4.5, but... I did enjoy Lock Every Door a little bit more, but still, this was a good book. Yeah, so we're going to do Home Before Dark when it comes out um, mm -hmm. in June as well. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.